took a little while. Welcome to today's Magic Kingdom on Party Day vlog. So we're gonna test out and see, are the wait times really lower? So we just got in here for early entry. It's 7.44, early entry started at 7.30, so we had a little bit of a later start than I would have liked, but we're here. So we're gonna see, as far as walking in this morning, it feels a lot less crowded and a lot less people than it would on a normal, like, early entry morning for just a regular park day, so. I'm curious to see. I didn't buy Genie Plus for today. We're just winging it and we'll see how it goes. I may regret that decision later, I don't know. I might not, but I'm excited to see what we can get done. So this is also a solo mom day, so I will have the girls here by myself, but just looking at the wait times, like Peter Pan, it is 7.52, the park opens for day guests in eight minutes, and it's only 45 minute wait. Like that's really, Peter Pan? It's not bad. And then Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is still only at 45 minutes. If it was a normal park day, it would be probably 70 plus by now already. That's usually the instance that it goes for us. But the girls want to do Speedway and it is a 10 minute wait. So we're going to go hop on that and see what else the rest of the day gets into. So wish me luck. But so far, I'm loving these chocolates. Maybe I could 
strategy. So I have not come on a party day because we are fireworks people, but switching things up and just giving it a shot because I've also had a lot of you asking me, hey, is doing that on a non-party day, like, is it gonna be nice or are we wasting our time? Like, what are the wait times like? Honestly, everything has been so good so far. So no, I may be overhyping this and it may be changing later on in the video, but we'll see. Right now, it's looking like a really good decision. When it comes to Genie Plus strategy on a party day like this, when it comes to rides that have five minute waits, I wouldn't even bother utilizing Genie Plus on that, honestly. There were multiple times that people were scanning in at the same time we were joining the standard line, the standby line, and we would be on the attraction faster than they would, and they use Genie Plus. So that's one thing to note, is if it has a five minute wait, don't worry about utilizing it for that. Use it for something like Jungle Cruise that has a 25 minute wait, or Peter Pan that has 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Use it for those types of attractions where it's going to really save you and you're going to get the most bang for your buck because spending a lot of money to skip a five minute wait isn't really the best use of the genie plus money you spent hey guys well it is almost 10 o'clock and peter pan has finally hit 60 minutes it took a little while a couple hours now we finally got there Your first pair of mini ears? <laughs> Did you just buy your first pair of Mickey ears? Oh my goodness, they look beautiful, princess. Can you spin around and show me the front? Oh, and they have a butterfly. Pretty. Another thing is hydration. Don't forget that. I know that's kind of not the topic of today's video, but just wanted to remind you of that. Every time you have your water bottle in your hand, like take a drink of it. Or for us, like we have a stroller. If you're a family, every time you get back to your stroller, take a drink. Every time you're parking it to go in on an attraction, take a sip of water. Now we have moved over though to the Storybook Circus area of the park. So to the right of Pete's Silly Sideshow, where you can meet Minnie and Daisy and Donald and Goofy. They have this nice covered area here. There's places to charge your phones. There's couches, there's chairs, tables, even like this little kid sized table, which was perfect for my girls. So we actually brought our own lunch on this particular day. So we just had some peanut butter sandwiches and some chips, just some of the basics, some great toddler essentials that they enjoyed and some Cheerios. So that was a great way to save money. So a little bonus tip there is you can definitely bring your own food. Well, you guys, apparently I'm not even cool enough to sit at the pool table. They're gonna go sit over there and leave me. Over in Storybook. 
Pittsburgh Circus, had some lunch, the girls colored and played, and I had them like little busy pouches basically so that they could play and have a little break, which is exactly what we were needing at the time. So now we are off to grab some ice cream. We're gonna head over into Adventureland, probably grab maybe a citrus swirl or something over there. And it's 11.30, so we had lunch and now we're doing like our after lunch dessert. And then we'll see what else we get into. We may ride pirates. I did grab a, a lightning lane for that at 11.25, so we'll just see how the day goes. My plan is to go as long as we can. Since the park closes at six, it's not gonna be great for my normal routine of leaving midday and then coming back, because by the time the girls are up, we would get here at like five and have to leave at six. So it kinda doesn't make a lot of sense for us. So we're just gonna try to stay as long as possible and then go to the hotel after that and have an early bedtime. So that's kind of the plan for the schedule today with the girls. Normally, we would go back and have a midday like break right about now instead of continuing on with the day. But that's why it's looking a little different is because of the altered schedule with the day. I'm gonna make this quick because my citrus or orange cream is melting but I ordered the girls a strawberry Dole Whip and then just asked them to split it into two different cups that way they could each have their own and it also wasn't gigantic because I didn't need to get them both their own gigantic ice cream that was the same size as mine it's like that's a little much for kids so now we've walked over Festival of Fantasy is going to be coming through at 12 o'clock. Oh, there's one of the bears, country bears. That's so cool. But we're gonna enjoy that here right outside of Diamond Horseshoe. So we're just gonna hang out here and watch the parade for a minute. And we have shade, so thank God for that.
little breather on Main Street. The girls are in the stroller here playing with their little toys. Is that Mama? Yeah. But they are sitting there playing. But I'm just scrolling through the My Disney Experience app with my Genie Plus. And there are a lot of times still available. Weights still aren't terrible, honestly. Like, um, it's, you could definitely utilize Genie Plus on a day like today, as you can see. But it's so slow here today that it is 1.38 and I just joined the second round of Virtual Queue for Tron. Like, I just clicked it thinking, oh, there's no way they're gonna like let me into this. And it's still open. Like, what the world. I'm gonna like unjoin the group because I can't ride it by myself and Lucy's not tall enough and I don't know what I, I like there's nothing I can do with Bella. But it's just kind of goes to show like depending on what rides you're interested in, even with Pirates when we were going to use our Genie Plus Lightning Lane for that one, it was a five minute wait. Like we didn't even need Genie Plus for it, but I had it so we went through the Lightning Lane. Um, still didn't end up getting to ride it as you saw, but that was kind of a little bit of a disappointment. But so hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea idea like seeing this whole day and like how the wait times have progressed and like what the wait times have been for us whether a party day could be a really good fit for you and your family and also whether you would need genie plus on a day like today or not there are a lot of rides that are still pretty low in wait times which is really really nice and then there are some that they just definitely have weights but depending on depending on what your family is interested in. If we hadn't wanted to ride like just Peter Pan and stuff like that, we really could have done without it. And honestly, we could have just like skipped it. And I could have saved 50 bucks today for us personally. But there are some days when waits are really long. I am 100% for Genie Plus. I love Genie Plus and all about it. But on today, and days like today, definitely one of those I could have saved the money. But you know, you never know how these days are gonna go. So I'm like, just gonna have it and we're gonna have it just in case. And we're gonna be little scientists and Genie Plus testers here, so. But I think we're gonna head out to the pool. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like the video if you have, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.